Thanks for joining us. I'm Louis Tran. Tomorrow right here in the Piedmont Triad, a brand new season kicks off for high school football. Now before you enjoy the games, officials tonight are sharing some key information to keep you safe. So let's get straight to our Kara Peters who joins us live from Mount Tabor High School. So Kara, I understand that you spoke with authorities earlier. Yeah, Louie, that's correct. I spoke with Winston Stanley for Scythe County School officials, and they tell me with an unexpected number of people expected to fill the stands for a high school football or any athletic event in that matter, it's important to have a safety plan in place to keep both students, faculty, and families safe. It's that time again. High school teams across the triad going toe-to-toe -to -toe on the football field. More fans in the seats means more safety measures in place. On a school day, we know who our students are, and we know who should be in our buildings. In an athletic event, we have folks from out of town, we have folks who are not typically on our campuses, and so uh, that brings a unique um, uh, challenge with security. Wilson with Winston-Salem for Scythe County Schools says not much has changed from last year when it comes to security measures when heading to athletic events, like adhering to a clear bag policy. We have properly staffed SROs that will be at all of our events. We're going to continue with our clear bag policy. So we would ask anybody that, you know, to bring a clear bag and put your, put your items in that. Not to mention the addition of metal detectors. Officials say this is the second year the district has implemented walk-through metal detectors. Wilson says these measures in place can help prevent any situation from occurring. It's hot outside. It's, you know, it's, it's dark in, in the evenings. And so, you know, that brings some different type things where uh, somebody's coming, they could trip and fall, uh, and we have make sure we have EMS uh, there so that you could have a quick response to it to identify and to deal with any situation that pop, could pop up. Now for those that plan to come here tomorrow night at Mount Tabor or any game across the triad, make sure to check the district's website for those correct dimensions for the clear bag policy. Mount Tabor and Grimsley face off tomorrow at 7 p.m. We're live in Winston-Salem. I'm Kara Peters, WXII 12 News. Thank you, Kara. And make sure you join us tomorrow night for our high school playbook. Our sports director, John Johnson, will have all the highlights and scores. It begins tomorrow night at 11.15 p.m. on Channel 12.